gain from this. That is why he asked to go on further. Raya kahe Krishna karmarpan sarvata shat dasha. Ramananda replied, to offer the results of one's activities to Krishna is the essence of all perfection. Someone may think that to be established in Varnasam dharma is bhakti. Don't think like this. To be in Varnasam dharma, in family, it is not actual bhakti. But if he is following the teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Uva Swami being there, no harm. It may be. But if he is not following and only he is in Parnasam Dharma and worshipping Krishna only, thinking that I am this body, not his hearing, not realizing that I am eternal servant of Krishna, I am part and parcel of Krishna. And if he is not following Suddha Bhakti, pure devotion and love of Krishna, then Grihastha Ashram, oh, there are so many Mayabadis there, Karmis are there, Jogis are there, Tapasvi are there. Hmm? It is like zero. So, this Grihastha Dharma is not devotion in the line of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He rejected. And then he told that, right then, they told Karma Arpan. What is that Karma Arpan? Can you? He said, yet kanoshi yadashnasi, hmm. that whatever you do, you should offer it to Krishna. Hmm. So then one may ask, what is the defect here? What is the problem? Hmm. Why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has rejected it? Because if one is offering... And in Gita he has told this, in 18th, in what? Yeah, what uh, chapter? Yat karoshi, yadashnasi, yad juhoshi. Yat tapasas kaunte tat kuru samadharpanam. Then what is this? Then the problem is that one is thinking, I am offering this to Krishna. That means that I am thinking, oh, this is mine, but I am giving it to Krishna. So that I will get some blessing, some benediction, something. So it is more like a business exchange. That is not essential. What more? So <laughs> the person who is offering the results of his work, so this work, it has, may not have any... Try to understand, because you are family, person, family man here, in Varnasam Dharma. But you should know the basic principles of Varnasam Dharma and Bhakti. Where is the difference? Anyone doing something and offering, worshipping Krishna, hmm? worshipping Krishna. And he has a garden, he is looking after his garden. He is doing any job. He has children and wife and family. He cooks something, Very, so many paraphernalia, and he offers to Krishna. Om Krishnaya Nama. Etad Naivedyam, doing Krishnaya or anything, Gauraya Swahari. But what is the defect here? In Bhajanasam Dharma, so much defect. He thinking that I am doer of this karma. I made this garden, I made this house, I am making money, I am doer of all these things. And then something, fruit of this, I am offering to Krishna. But actually we are not doer. Who are you? If you are thinking that I am doer, then it is quite wrong. But it has been told that even you, what you do, breathe, do, you should offer. For whom it is? For beginners, those who are not pure bhakti. So if your Gurudev has told that, oh, you should distribute books, make life member and bring somebody. And this is bhakti, and you will go to direct to Vrindavan. Is there any defect here? We have told in two senses, but we have not 
that idea. We have not realized this. He wanted to make some impression that they should come in the line of Shuddha Bhakti. They should read the books. They should know the essence in association of high class of Vaishnava. And then they will realize this. That I am not doer. I am part and parcel of Krishna. I am eternal servant. So I should offer myself. And then I should do whatever we do to please Krishna. Then it will come back. So this is not this is Arup Siddha Bhakti Jat Kuroshi. Arup Siddha means mixture of karma and bhakti. And here karma is prominent, that I am doer, I am maker, I am kindly, I am mercifully, I am giving something to Krishna. But whole thing is mine, and something I am giving. So I am so merciful to Krishna. Oh Krishna, you should be pleased by this. And you can help me by what? Oh, I should be happy in this one. So this is not Bhakti. Mahaprabhu told that all. Oh, he rejected and told that you should go on. Then Prabhu Kaiho Bhajya, Age Kahar, Raya Kahe Swadharma Tyage E Shadhasha. This is also external, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said. Please proceed and speak further on this matter. Ramananda Rai replied, To give up one's occupational duties in the Varnashram is the essence of perfection. Then he told a stroke of Srimad Bhagavatam Gita, what? Sarva Dharma? Oh, what is the what is the meaning? Give up all other oh, meaning. Oh. As stated in scripture, Bhagavad Gita 1866, mm. after giving up all kinds of religious and occupational duties, if you come to me, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and take shelter, I will give you pr- protection from all of life's sinful reactions. Do not worry. What is the meaning? What is the meaning? Here, Krishna is saying that if one takes shelter of him, he becomes Sharanagat. Then all his karma fall and all of these things, he will be protected from that. And uh, in this way, by surrendering to Krishna, there's no need to worry for the reactions of his past deeds. We should hear no, not nothing, very important. Krishna has come to establish Yuga Dharma. He has also established, uh, he came to establish Swarup Dharma. Swarup Dharma means? The religion of the soul. So, and especially to test the rushes of all kinds of rushes. Right, like Basya, Sakha, Basal, and Madhu. So, if he has come to establish Yuga Dharma, Manmantar Dharma, and eternal Swadharma of Jiva, Shiva, he has come. Why he told that Sarva Dharma You should give up all kinds of suffering. He has not told that you should give up all kinds of dharma. Only artificial dharmas, what? External dharmas of this body and mind. Our, the door of the bhakti is saranagati. So he has been instructed in this ishlo. And only he instructed that I will, what? I will, deliver, I will deliver you from the reactions of your previous activities. So are you not taking shelter here? But this is not your work. Not your Sharanagati, what he wants to give Arjun here? That is the door of bhakti. Not actually bhakti. Not the religion of our soul. Saru, <coughs> Atma. So he is telling. Eh? Yes. Put, put by Srila Prabhupada. <laughs> 
In this connection, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami instructs in his book, Manasiksha, Nadharmam na dharmam shuti gana niruktam kilukuru, Brajay Radha Krishna Prachara Paricharyam Hirtanu. He is thus enjoined that we should not perform religious or irreligious activities as prescribed in the Vedas. The best course is always to engage in the service of Krishna and Shrimati Radhika. That is the perfection of everything in this life. Simply in Srimad Bhagavatam 429.46, it is said by Narada Muni, Yadaya Syanu Grinati Bhagavan Atma Bhavitaha Sajahati Matim Loke Vedaicha Parinishnishtitam. When one actually takes to the loving service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he gives up all duties in the material world as well as all duties prescribed by Vedic literatures. In this way, one is fixed in the service of the Lord. So, now in this stage, what we are doing, bhakti, actually not pure bhakti. If we are not Saranagas, hmm? not surrender. By soul, we are surrendered by our senses, heart, and soul. First, you should surrender. You cannot surrender to Krishna first. You should surrender to His manifestation like Guru, Shiksha Guru and Diksha Guru first. And be a servant of Krishna and your Guru Dev. And then you should come at the door of Bhakti. That is Sarnagari. You should have so much belief in the words of Guru, Shastra and Krishna. Like Haridas Thakur, if one is beating him in... Like Prahlad Maharaj, he was given poison. He was poisoned. And he was tried to be murdered. But he was always chanting and remembering. So we should have faith that Krishna will save us. If you have not this thing, not this strong belief that Krishna will save us, then you cannot chant and remember without problem. Problem may come and they will come. But this process of Vaishnava who have come and who have surrendered to Krishna and Gurudev, oh, problem cannot do anything. They will not go down. <coughs> so, now time is over. Uh, some, we will tell in tomorrow in classes. And I want to give you an idea what is pure bhakti and what is our goal of life and what is process in a very brief way. So tomorrow and day after tomorrow we have time. I will I very in easy method in simple words, I will try to tell you. So, try to understand it. And where you are not understanding, you can ask questions if you like. Today our class is here. Finish. Gaur Praman.